Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a log equation with base 10. So log x means log x with base 10, even though base 10 is not written. And I just want to raise a question before we start solving this problem. Is this a property? Is this a general rule? What do you think? Okay, the answer is this is not. The power rule, which is a rule of logarithms, says something like this, log x to the n equals n times log x. You can always bring this to the front. And remember, we use this a lot. However, we can still use this property because we have that on the right-hand side. So here's how it goes. Log x to the third equals log x cubed. And now I can use the power property, bring this to the front, and that becomes 3 log x. So we have this equals this. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. Log x to the third power equals 3 log x. Again, don't get me wrong. This is not a general property. We're looking for a specific x. That satisfies this equation. Okay? And x needs to be positive, obviously. And powers are odd, so we're good. So under those conditions, let's go ahead and find x values. Set log x equal to t or something else, whatever because you see it repeats. So we get t cubed equals 3t. Now one of the mistakes that people do is divide both sides by t and get rid of one of the t. So they di people divide by t. Let's simplify it because people like simplifying things, right? But this is not good. It's not good practice. Don't simplify. Okay. So instead we're going to do the following. t cubed equals 3t. We need to turn it into a polynomial. Let's subtract t cubed minus 3t equals 0. And then factor t out. And now we have three solutions. Take, let's take a look at them. t equals 0. This means, what is t? Log x, remember? t is log x, so t equals 0 implies log x equals 0. Let's go ahead and write each one. We get square root of 3. That means log x is equal to square root of 3. And we have finally the opposite of root 3, which is negative root 3. Okay, now we didn't we say that the x needs to be positive? Yes, it doesn't violate that. We didn't say log x has to be positive because that's a different story. Obviously, if x is less than 1, between 0 and 1, I should say, then log x is going to be negative. That's what's happening here. So all these solutions are valid, good, they satisfy the original. Well, do they? We can plug it in, but no big deal. So let's go ahead and find the x values from here. Since the base is 10, this is going to be 10 to the power 0, which is 1. The second one is going to be x equals to 10 to the power root 3. And the third one is 10 to the power negative root 3. Wow, take a look at these two numbers. Such irrational numbers, right? But these are the solutions. Well, the third one is kind of small. The second one is big. So when you graph it, it doesn't look that good. But anyways, in general, we have three solutions that satisfy this equation, and all of them are valid. And this brings us to the end of this video, but we still have a graph. I guess what I did was, since they didn't fit on the, the whole screen, I'm kind of showing you one of the solutions here. Obviously, x equals 1 is a solution, right? We already talked about it. So you can see the intersection point. By the way, these are really interesting graphs. If you graph them in Desmos, you're going to notice such an interesting curve x equals 1 is a solution, as you can see, and the other solutions are kind of hard to see if you don't zoom out. Notice that the one that is super duper small looks like it's on the y-axis, but that's not the case. It's a very small x value, okay, which is 10 to the power negative root 3, and the other one is a very large, it's greater than 50, obviously, 10 to the square root of 3. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you Next time with another video, until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.